In third item four, we talked to you about psychedelics and mystical experiences, and oftentimes that would require some sort of substance like ayahuasca or mushrooms or some combination of the sort, and how that was coming into the church. Well, someone sent me something the other day of something called the Mushroom Church, and yeah, it's exactly what you think it is. Hey guys, go ahead and smite thine like button and the lizard people won't get you like they did Facebook earlier today. <laughs> and then also buy our book, Calling Evil Good, the live Christian rock and roll available on Amazon link in the description below. You can get you one of those and uh, some of the stuff we're working on a sequel to that. I know I've said that over and over again, but we're still working on it. I promise you that bit by bit. So check this out. Someone mentioned this on our Facebook page, uh, Missionary Spencer Smith, and you can check us out there. But um, here's what they're posting about this, this idea of the mushroom inspiration church. of the fungal world of the music of the art of the ecology all to help reconnect us we certainly hope to see you there hi friends welcome to the mushroom church mushroom my name church. is modern biology i make music with mushrooms and plants and on march 1st here in downtown vancouver at christ church cathedral we'll have almost 400 people to celebrate the power and inspiration of the fungal world the of fungal the world of the art of the ecology all to help reconnect us to nature i hope to see you there Hi, friends. Cool. Welcome well, to the mushroom. There we go. So you see what he's saying. He said, we, we, we're we going to get into the mushroom church, and we're going to, what he's basically doing, just sum it up for you, is this guy's actually connecting these uh, metallic sensors to mushrooms and reading some sort of energy vibration that comes off these things on a cellular level and putting that through some sound system and letting you hear the sound. It's like that that noise that you heard was what he was into. So here's his Instagram page. The guy's name is Tor- Torrent Spoon. And... Um, Pretty good following on there. Not bad. Mushroom music is what he talks about. And let's just see what he's got to say here. It's pretty interesting stuff. So um, how do you get this stuff to play noise? Anyway, it's not working on here. Let's see if we can get this one to go. Here we go. You hear that noise that's coming off these mushrooms? And it's pretty wild stuff, man. Plug me through a synth and then turn it. Well, that's just that's annoying with you but here's what they're doing they are reading vibrations and frequencies coming off these mushrooms so that you can hear the noises of mother nature so that you can connect with the energy on some level guys this is this is low level occultism is what it is and um i mean it even got uh let's see here he he connects it to a fern check this out i remember this and uh listen to what a fern sounds like when he does that Isn't that wild? Yeah. But there, there are people who practice this stuff, and they put, uh, I mean, cedar tree music. He, he, he connects it to that. See what a cedar tree sounds like. That's nuts. But, you know, what? a couple things I want you to see here is that um, these people, to them, music is a language and music is some sort of new age tool, and they're bringing this type of stuff into the church. Now, here's an L.A. Times uh, article. It says, what do mushrooms sound like? Hear the psychedelic boops, beeps, and womps for yourself. Uh, what does nature's uh, song sound like? You might think burbling brooks, buzzing trees. Uh, but for the creators of the, of the forefront of experimental tech that lets them make music with mushrooms, nature sounds like the otherworldly boops and beeps of a synthesizer. Musician and former biologist Haran Nayar never expected his, t- his throwaway TikTok videos playing sound with a phenomenal a phenomenon called biodata sonification to go viral. He started out by hooking plants up to a modular synth to transform their bioelectrical signals into electronic music. The tech works on any living organism from flowers to apples to humans human beings but it's the hypnotic tone of mushrooms currently spreading like spores it's a beautiful practice of connecting collaborating with nature and uh, so he's got 730,000 followers on tiktok pretty interesting stuff and um, so it says uh, to be clear the mushrooms aren't making the music themselves or deliberately choosing which notes we hear as far as we know the devices only translate biological processes into frequencies we can turn into music 
But the popularity of mushroom music speaks to a larger cultural wave inspired by these mysterious organisms that have remained in the shadow far too long. And uh, so they're talking about how fungus are now taking a comeback. There's a fungus among us. And, um, you know, but technology like microscopes, big data is now biodata sonification are opening us up to their hidden world by giving access to their activity that, that could usher in a new era of exciting discoveries. Now, look, there are buzz terms for the occult, like frequency, vibration, uh, new, uh, you know, exciting discoveries. There's, uh, uh, there is a hidden world. That's what the occult means. It means hidden. It means something that's secret, that's underground, that you just don't see. And uh, so th there's a lot of weird stuff here. The inter artistic interpretations of these curious data streams are significant at well. They add yet another layer to the mushrooming moment in human history. And there's a whole lot here. So um, what is happening is that mushrooms are becoming cool. Mushrooms are going to be going mainstream again because people are going to be talking about the, the, um, uh, the psychedelic effects that it can do and, uh, and that type of stuff. And it, it, this is actually what you're seeing with the rise in popularity of studying these mushrooms is you're actually seeing a rise in popularity in the occult and, you know, that otherworldly stuff and things like that. So here's what I want you to see. Go to our channel and look at Third Adam Ford, The Road to Shambhala, which is on the, we got it right there at the very top of our YouTube channel. And if you want to go right here to the very first playlist, Third Adam Documentaries, we have it right there. We just hit 400,000 views. And I will show you how mystery religion connects into uh, mushroom culture. Matter of fact, let me show you this. Um, let's see here. Let's just type in Mario mushrooms. Okay. Um, in, in Super Mario, the reason they put the mushroom in Super Mario and he takes it and he got bigger is because the people, the Japanese guys who are doing this stuff, were studying a mystery religion at the time that they were making this movie or this, this video game. And so literally, and, and I'm not saying don't play Mario Brothers. I mean, who doesn't like Mario? But these mushrooms were put in the game for psychedelic reasons, for psychedelic purposes. It's everywhere. And when I, <laughs> when I tell you this stuff is everywhere, I mean, it's every, it is everywhere. It's all over the place. And I think that... Um, I think you need to be made aware of this stuff. So go watch Third Adam 4. It'll change your life. It'll help you see what we're talking about. And uh, matter of fact, let me just see if I can find the segment on here the on it. And uh, it's pretty, there it is right there. I'm right, I'm right on it. Let's just, let's just play this for just a moment. Ch just stay with me they here. Check this out. They give the credit to not the Lord. They give the credit to like an experience. We did a ritual and because we did this ritual, this person was able to do this. Oftentimes they will give credit for like dreams and visions to this mystery religion process that we're speaking about. They'll say like Ezekiel saw his vision because he was doing mushrooms. Moses saw the burning bush in the wilderness because he was on the same drugs that we're on and we saw the same thing. And that's always interesting to note. And really, if you go back into this mysticism and like these paintings that are done, a lot of people, a lot of mystics throughout history. You guys see that? That's an old painting of Jesus and there's mushrooms but underneath him because the Gnostics and the mystics and the, and the New Agers at the time believed that Jesus saw his visions and got his powers because of acid trips and mushroom usage. ...have given credit for these miracles to mushroom trips. I wish I was joking, but this is actual fact. This is what they believe. Now, in my research of this, there was a kind of a, a road that this went down that really surprised me, and it was in the video game industry. Now, all of us know who Super Mario is, and I just, I remember many times as a kid thinking in the back of my mind, what does the mushroom mean in this video game? Well, in this context, it means exactly <laughs> what you think it does. It has to do with drug use. Of course, the Super Mario franchise came out in the 80s, and the man who created it was named Shigeru Miyamoto. And somewhere around 2005, he gave an interview with Business Week, and he gave this quote, Mario ended up being too big, so he shrank him. Then we thought, what if he can grow and shrink? How would he do that? It would have to be a magic mushroom. Where would a mushroom grow? In a forest? We thought of giving Mario a girlfriend, and then we started talking about Alice in Wonderland. So that's where the idea of the princess 
came from. This was born out of like mysticism and drug culture. And so when he gave that quote, it kind of sent the world kind of a buzz. And in 2009, he gave another interview in which he gave this quote. Some time ago, I was being interviewed and I spoke about Alice in Wonderland. But it seems that there was some misunderstanding and it's since been stated that I was influenced by Alice in Wonderland. That isn't the case. It's just that there has always somehow been a relationship between mushrooms and magical there realms. There it is. That's why I decided that Mario would need a mushroom to become Super Mario. Mushrooms and magical realms. Kind of like Alice in Wonderland, kind of like Super Mario Brothers. And so you see in the mystery religion, the goal is to become a higher and greater version of yourself. Ultimately, the end of that road being that you become your own god. Well, the process of mystery religion, including drug usage, causes you to become a greater, higher version of yourself which is exactly what they're doing in the Super Mario games. You take the mushroom, you become a bigger, stronger version of yourself. And I find it also interesting that the very first enemies in the game are called Goombas, which ultimately are mushrooms themselves as well. And it's funny, the Bible says the whole world lieth in wickedness. That means everything has been affected by this, even your beloved video games. They literally put magic mushrooms in this game and nobody caught it. I find it funny how <laughs> so many people were just shocked by that. But it's true. It's true. Mystery religions everywhere. Mushroom usage is associated with achieving a gnosis, stepping out of your body in some out-of-body experience, getting into the third realm. And, and a lot of people are saying, you know, the reason Ezekiel saw the vision that he saw is because he was on mushrooms. The reason that uh, John, the beloved, wrote the book of Revelation, he was on some crazy mushroom trip when he did that. And, and it's, 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 it's wild stuff, but this kind of thinking is coming. And this kind of thinking is gaining traction, and it is even overlapping into liberal churches. So be aware of that stuff. And uh, we, we show you that just to encourage you to go take the time to go watch Third Adam. So also you can find a lot of history about this stuff with our book, Calling Evil Good, the Live Christian Rock and Roll, available on Amazon. Link in the description below. Go check that out and subscribe. If you're new here, please take a moment to subscribe to our channel. We know that a lot of you people that watch are, are not subscribed, but we want you guys to subscribe to this channel. It'll be a blessing to you and it'll be a help to you. So go do that. And then also if this video was a blessing, added value to your life, please go Go ahead and smite thine like button and appreciate you guys very much. Have a wonderful day. We'll see you later.